encouraged us to judge people by the content of their character, not by the color of their skin. But unfortunately, nature doesn't always play by those rules. When it comes to sunlight and its effects on our skin, she is anything but colorblind. While a light-skinned person has to worry more about skin cancer, darker-skinned people have a higher risk of vitamin D deficiency. The reason is fairly straightforward and can be explained in terms of migration patterns and human evolution. Our African ancestors living in a sun-rich continent evolved dark skin that protected them against the harmful effects of intense ultraviolet light. Those humans who later migrated north to less sun-intensive regions encountered new selective pressures. Vitamin D, not only an essential nutrient, but a critical hormone, is synthesized in the skin as UVB radiation penetrates the epidermal layers. However, melanin, our natural sunscreen, impedes this process to some extent. As such, endogenous vitamin D production is more difficult for individuals with darker or more melanin-rich skin. So, the same dark skin that was advantageous and protective for our African ancestors posed a problem for those who moved to regions with less overall UV light. These populations likely evolved lighter skin to decrease filtering of sunlight and thus increase production of vitamin D. Now, fast forward to today, when all people don't live in the equatorial region where anatomically modern humans evolved. Darker-skinned individuals, and in particular, those living above 30 degrees latitude, may be at a higher risk of vitamin D deficiencies. Several diseases and conditions are associated with vitamin D deficiency, and many of these are found at higher frequencies among people living closer to the poles. Fortified foods and supplements are excellent sources of vitamin D, as very few foods contain significant amounts of vitamin D naturally. It is also important to remember that light-skinned people can also be at risk for vitamin D deficiency, as people spend so little time outdoors today as compared to their ancestors. But don't just rip off your shirt and lie in the grass, especially if you're light-skinned. We live much longer today than we did in our ancestral past. That is, largely because we spend more time on the planet, the risks of skin cancer and photoaging are higher today than they ever have been. Experts recommend both vitamin D supplements and broad-spectrum sunscreens, such as those containing zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. For more information, visit these sites or check out these books. You've been Reading Between the Genes with Katrina Voss.